What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be reacting to the SML movie, Richard's Mistake. Now if you're going to enjoy this, then make sure you give it a like, subscribe, and let's get started. Mm -mm -mm, my chicken quesadilla is finished! And it smells delicious! A chicken quesadilla! 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 Who is that? Who is the chicken quesadilla song? I'll get it, Chef Uh, hello? Junior, I am so screwed! What's wrong, Richard? Well, my dad is at his massage appointment, and he told me to stay in my room because I was grounded because I ran up $100,000 on the credit card buying V-Bucks for Fortnite. So I'm in my room, and I'm like, hmm, what would be a good idea? I'm going to go joyriding in my dad's brand new car. And I wrecked it, Junior. I ran into a tree. You ran into a tree? Yeah, and I need you to come look at the damage and tell me if you think my dad's going to notice. Okay. All right. All right, Junior. I'm not oh, even going to show hard. you where the dent is. I just want to see if you notice it. Okay. So, uh, do you see it? Is it right there? Damn it! That noticeable, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's really big. <sighs> well, the only thing that I got going for me right now is that my dad is old, so maybe his eyesight isn't as good as ours. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're young, so that's why we notice it. Oh, darn it, I just remembered my dad got LASIK twice. Why'd he get it twice? Well, the first time he got it, he was dating his wife, and, and he thought that she was ugly, so he thought his eyes were bad. So he went and got LASIK. So then, he still thought that his wife was ugly. So he got LASIK again. And then he just realized that she was just ugly. And so he divorced her, so she ended up being my mom, so. Oh, what does BMW mean? Oh, BMW stands for Big Mexican Women, which is what I'm trying to pick up with my BMW here and take them back to my La Hacienda. You know, I like my women how I like my tacos, full of sour cream. Well, how'd you hit a tree? Well, let me tell you, Junior, I was driving along, picture this, driving along, clear road, and all of a sudden, boom, tree. And I hit it, and it ran off. The tree ran off? Yeah, and so I think we should follow a police report saying that it was a hit and run. Cause okay, I don't think the tree just ran off. I think that maybe the tree, it might have just, like, blown away. Like, maybe when Richard was driving, when he drive, a tree might fall down, and boom, and it might float away. Maybe that might happen. Because the tree ran off and I didn't even get his insurance information. That's a good idea because if it's the tree's fault, then your dad won't get mad at you. Exactly. Let's you know, call the police. I'm gonna call the cops. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Ooh, big Mexican women. Right? Nice. All right, why'd you call me? So there's a dent on my car, and I'm not going to show you where it is. I just want to see if you notice it. There. Well, yeah, I can see it. It's right there. Damn it! That noticeable, huh? I mean, yeah, it's pretty obvious. Did you get LASIK recently? No, it's just a big old dent. What happened? Well, this is what happened, officer. Picture this. I was driving my dad's car. And all of a sudden, a tree jumped out in the middle of the road, and I hit it, and then he ran off, and I didn't collect his insurance information. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I have several questions. Hold, first off, how old are you? Twelve. Okay, you should not have been driving a car. You, you don't have your driver's license. Actually, I'm 16. Huh. Actually, you know, <laughs> now that I think yeah, about it, you are 16. Money. You do have his driver's license. Congratulations. Thank uh, you. So, what happened? So, I was driving along tree jumped out in the middle of the road and I hit it and it ran off. Well, trees don't usually just jump out into the road like that. Well, this one did. What, was it Groot from, like, from Guardians of the Galaxy? No. What? Yes, actually, yes, it was him. Let's go arrest him. He did it. Well, he's not actually on this planet, as far as I know, so I don't think that was him, but, you know, I am a mechanic, so I could probably take care of that for you. Okay, that'd be great. All right, let me go get my overalls on. He could probably fix it. Yeah. All right, I'm back. Is that a toilet plunger? No, this is the Suckomatic 5000. It has 5,000 pounds of suckage. This thing could suck anything. I'd leave my wife for this thing. It would talk less. Well, could it get the den out? Oh, can it get the den out? Of course it'll get the den out. This thing will look good as new. Just check this out. Here we go. Here we go. I'm feeling it. Oh, here it is. I can, I can feel it. It's coming. It's coming. Oh! Okay, that didn't work. So are you saying that I'm screwed? No, 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 no. A hammer? What's that going to do? Hold on. Let me explain. What are you doing? See? Now you can tell your dad some guy hit it with a hammer, not a tree. <laughs> what are you going to do now, He's Richard? I don't know, Junior, because I can't call the cops because he is a cop. Well, if, if you look at the dent, it is a little bit better, and now he gives you a better excuse. You can say that um, somebody hit your car with a hammer. But I'm not supposed to be over here, Junior, because my dad grounded me and I'm supposed to be in my room. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm, what can I do? <gasps> oh, I can blame my butler chives. But really? Yeah, I'm going to call him over here. 
You called, sir? Yes, Chives. Look what you did to my dad's car. Bad, Chives. Bad. I'm going to rub your nose in it. Uh, You've been a bad, Chives. But I didn't do this, sir. Well, that's what we're going to tell my dad. Well, but shouldn't you be in your room because you're grounded? And shouldn't you be washing dishes or doing whatever butlers do? I was until you called, sir. Well, Chives, we're going to call my dad and tell him that you wrecked his car. And this is the story, Chives. You drug me out of my room even though I was grounded. And you promised me to take me to McDonald's and you slammed this car into a tree because you're a drunk and in the McDonald's drive-thru some crazy maniac came up with a hammer and started hitting the car. Well, what would I get for telling your father this, sir? You get to keep your job. But wouldn't I lose my job when your father found out what I did to his car? No, he's just going to give you a spanking like he always does. So come inside. We're going to call my dad. Oh. All right, Chives, call my dad. Do I absolutely have to, sir? Do it! Uh, very well. It's ringing. Mm. Nothing can ruin this day. Oh. Hold on, Rafiki! Were they doing it so hard? No, actually not hard enough. But my butler Chives is calling, and he knows that it's massage day. So it must be an emergency. Hold on. What do you want, Chives? You know it's massage day. <sighs> well, sir, it seems due to unforeseen circumstances, there may have been a small issue with something. Spit it out, Chives! You're interrupting my massage! Something happened to your car. What? Which car, Chives? <sighs> The BMW. Oh, no, no, anything but that. Not my big Mexican woman car. What happened, Chives? What happened to it? Uh, um, ow, my eye. Yes, what happened to my car, Chives? It's not that hard of a question. Don't, don't you touch me, donkey mouth. Anyway, Chives, if you don't tell me what happened to my car, I'm gonna stick my fingers in this candle. Well, sir, I, what? I'm a stupid, smelly drunk. I grabbed Richard and... Wait, wait. before... I'm... Candle! Who else, well, sir? I... Wait, what? I'm gonna read that. Wait. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna read that. I am a stupid, smelly drunk. I grabbed Richard and put him in the BMW and ran in... and ran into a tree. Then we went to McDonald's and a crazy man hit it with a hammer. Really, Richard? I'm a stupid, smelly drunk. I grabbed Richard and put him in the BMW and ran into a tree. Then we went to McDonald's and a crazy man hit it with a hammer. You what? That is it, Chives! I can't believe this! I'm sticking my hand in this candle! Please don't, sir. Ah! Mm, mm, ooh, ooh, mm, blah, blah, mm, that hurts so good. Oh, Chives, I'm coming to you right now so you can kiss my boo boo. Uh, I'll kiss you. No! Ew, donkey mouth! <sighs> Did he believe it? I don't know, sir. Dang it, Chives! You didn't sound believable. Ow, my eye! What? Who's at the door? Go check and see if it's my dad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, your dad's here. What do we do? Go answer the door and try to stall. See if he notices the dent. Okay. Uh, hello? Where are they? Well, they're upstairs, but we want to go look at the car real quick. I gotta ask you something. <sighs> All right, so Richard doesn't want me to show you where the dent is. He wants to see if you can see it with your own eyes. So on the count of three, I want you to point out the damage. One, two, three. Right here! All of this! All of this! Oh, and don't forget, down here too! What? We didn't even notice that! Yeah, well good thing I got LASIK twice! Oh, well, okay, you can come inside now. Alright, here they are. Alright, Chives, now was everything that you told me on the phone true? Uh, I, uh... Now think about it, Chives, because if you lie to me, then I'm gonna pack you up in a little crate and ship you to Madagascar, where you're gonna be dancing with little lemurs to the song, I like to move it, move it. Now tell me, Chives. Okay, so I don't understand why they're gonna use movie names so for their show. Why do they use movie names for their channel? Why do they do that? Oh, I think I know why. To make it more entertaining. 
Do you like to move it, move it? No, sir. Like so what it. happened? Uh, I, 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 uh, uh, oh no, I'm having a heart attack. Don't you pull that fake heart attack crap with me, Chives. You tried doing that last week. So what happened? Dad, everything he told you is true. Okay, and you're going to stick with that? Yep. Now let me tell you, I do have a dash cam. It's a little camera on the windshield that records everything. So does anyone want to change their story? Uh-oh. Uh, I think you're telling the truth. <sighs> okay, Junior. All right, Dad, listen, this is what happened. So I was sitting in my room, grounded, like you told me I was, and Chives came in with the BMW key, and he threw it at me and said, hey, you should go joyriding while your dad's getting a massage. And I was like, but I'm grounded. But Chives insisted, Dad. So I was driving along, and I hit a tree. And then I brought it straight back to Junior's house to try to fix it so I wouldn't get in trouble for what Chives told me to do. And that's when, that's when this crazy guy came and hit the car with a hammer. And you'll see that on your dash cam. Uh, I thought he'd actually tell the truth. That is it, Chives! Get ready for your spankings! Shall I get the paddle, sir? Actually, I think I'm going to use my lucky tennis racket. Very good, sir. But, Chives, you didn't do anything. That's okay. This is just my life. No, I'm not going to sit back and let this happen. Mr. Goodman, sir, Richard's lying. What are you doing, Junior? I'm telling the truth for you. So, so Chives didn't do anything. So Chives didn't get any spankings. Richard lied, and Richard deserves the spankings. Richard, is this true? Yeah, Dad. I can't believe you, Richard! Chives, get the paddle! Very good, sir. I'm gonna teach your little Heine a lesson. Oh my god, I can't believe that Richard actually lied, and later he told the truth. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.